This song is in 6-8 time signature, so you count it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's the intro. <laughs> The first chord we need is an A minor. You take your index, 4th string, 2nd fret. You play this for 6 counts. After that, B7. Index, 2nd string, 2nd fret. Middle finger, 3rd string, 3rd fret. Ring finger, 4th string, 4th fret. You play this for 3 counts. After that, E7 Index, 4th string, 1st fret Middle finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret Ring finger, 1st string, 2nd fret You also play this for 3 counts After that we have the verse and let's separate it into 2 parts Here's the first one minor again, but this time I recommend you use your middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret. After that we have A major. You keep your middle finger here, and you just put your index on the 3rd string, 1st fret. That's your A major. After that, D minor. Index, 2nd string, 1st fret. Middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret. Ring finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret. Then E7, we learned that just now. So we play each chord for 3 counts. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And you just play it 2 times. Here's the second part of the verse. Na 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 So the first chord we need is a D minor. We learned that just now. Then C major. Index, first string, third fret. Or you can use whatever finger suits you the best. Then, B minor. You take your index, you bar the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd string, 2nd fret. Then your ring finger, 4th string, 4th fret. For this chord, you have to bar your index tightly, so if you play every note one by one, you can hear everything. If your index has no energy, it will sound like this. It will be muted, so the trick is to bar your index tightly. After that, A sharp major or B flat. Same thing. So our index, we bar the first and second string, first fret. Middle finger, third string, second fret. Ring finger, fourth string, third fret. Same like the B minor, your index you have to bar it tightly. Let's try one by one. I can hear everything. If there's no energy with your index, what happens? It will be muted. So, that's the trick. Bar it tightly. So, after that, D minor again. C major again. Then B7. Then A sharp major or B flat. So take note, in the second part of the verse, there was a little chord difference. We had D minor, C major, B minor, A sharp major. After that, D minor, C major, B7, A sharp major. So in the first round, it was B minor. The second round, B7. Take note. 
after the verse, we have the chorus. It looks like this. So, all of the chords we learned just now. A minor, C major, B7, E7. So as you can see, the chorus is a little bit fancy, but nothing really special. In the first and third chord, we play on the first beat. The second and third is a rest. And the second and fourth chord, we just play it for three counts. So slow motion, the chorus looks like this. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Not that hard. After the chorus, we have a guitar solo, but don't worry, the chords for the solo is exactly the same as the verse. And after the solo, just repeat the verse, repeat the chorus, then repeat the intro. Then that's basically the whole song. And when you're done, the last chord you play is an A minor to end this song. So that's it. Nasty Yona, My September.